Hey, buddy, Gunson on the cover. It's a busy day with stories to report. <clears throat> Today is uh, December 27th, 2018. It's a Thursday. And I've been wanting to report on this one, just hadn't had the time. And this one has to do with another fine, upstanding police officer out there serving and protecting his community. This one was given to me by uh, uh, one of my subscribers. Uh, I sent this one to me. I forget who it is. But uh, let me just bring this up. And you can see there's his picture right there. Oh, he's, he's a fine upstanding. You're going to love what this guy was up to. He's not even drinking. He makes uh, drinking uh, look like a walk in a park. So, here, this, this appeared in the New York Post. And uh, here, let me put this back up. That's better this way. There you go. What do you think about that one, huh, folks? Look at that. Read what that says. This Blue Zero Hero turd. And it says, officer filmed himself having sex with animals, state police say. This was reported on December 21st, 2018. So he's starting out the, the Christmas season <clears throat> on a good foot or a good paw, I should say. He's, he, this guy, he's done. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't get evicted, he's done. Just a mere accusation. Okay, so let's read this story. I have not yet read this story, so I, I'm i reading with you for the first time. Because I just I had some stuff came in, and I just didn't have time. It says, a police officer in Louisiana allegedly filmed himself having sex with animals, including at least one he kept as a pet. Well, who were the other animals? What are the neighbors? He kidnapped the neighbor's dog and was, uh, you know, romping around. Terry Yetman. A 38-year-old officer in Bossier City surrendered to police Wednesday after an investigation that was launched in August led to search warrants being obtained for some electronic devices, Louisiana State Police announced Thursday. Detectives then found pornography involving sexual acts with animals on the devices. Yetman voluntarily surrendered after learning warrants had been issued for his arrest. He was later booked into the Bossier Maximum Security Correctional Center on 20 counts of sexual abuse of animals by performing sexual acts with an animal and 20 counts of sexual abuse of animals by filming sexual acts with an animal. I'm not sure I understood all that. Additional charges are possible, state police officials said. Exactly what animals are allegedly victimized by Yetman was not specified by authorities, but state police spokesman told the Post that one of the animals owned by the officer had been rescued and is safe. I don't know, were they wagging their tails? I mean, I don't... <laughs> the story's funny, but it's not funny. The investigation is very active and ongoing with additional charges possible, Trooper Glenn Younger wrote in an email. Yetman, who has been employed by the department since 2014 as a patrol officer, was placed on administrative leave by the Bossier City Police Department after police brass learned the ongoing investigation in November. He'll remain, and this is what gets me, he'll be remaining on paid administrative leave <clears throat> pending the outcome of this case, a police spokesman told the newspaper. Yemen, oh my goodness, look at, they're really hammering this guy. Yemen remained jailed on Friday on $350,000 bond jail records show. Wow. This is like worse than robbing a bank. $350,000. I mean, what you know, if you if you uh, get convicted of uh, abusing children, okay, you're a child predator. You got to stay away from parks and schools. <laughs> you get what I'm getting at now. So if if you're a convicted animal uh, abuser, <clears throat> sexual abuser, I mean, what is the uh, what? You got to stay away from the SPCA and the pet store. You can't go into PetSmart. But, oh, my God, animals, come on, dude, and you're filming it? Here's the lesson to be learned. I'm not encouraging this that kind of activity, but, you know, I've said this before. There should be a law in the books called stupidness, and this cop was just plain stupid. You know what? You got a little thing for uh, Fido or uh, Felix the cat, you know, or uh, maybe you got some sheep out in the back. You got a little thing for that. 
you might not want to record it or take pictures. You might not want to keep stuff like that on your computer or your phone because uh, it's not going to look too good when you get caught. I mean, you have to go in court and stand in front of all those people and all the people looking at you and say, this guy has sex with an animal. Now, they didn't say what kind of sex. I don't know. Was it anal sex? Was it vaginal sex? And they didn't report whether he practiced safe sex. I sure hope he did. You know, I hope he had some sense and did some safe sex practices and wore a condom or something. But, dude, animals? Come on, man. There's hookers out there, strippers. There's porn sites. There's phone sex. There's all kinds of things. Animals? Of all things in the world, you know... I'll close it up with this. You're going to do something crazy. You got a little fetish with his animals or you want to hump a doorknob or whatever it is. You got to ask yourself, if I get caught, can I afford it? So if this knucklehead said, you know what, if I get caught humping a sheep or having, dog, having sex with a pony or uh, my dog or something, how am I, can I afford that? Can, you know, how am I going to explain that to your family and all things like that? Dude, you're an idiot. You, you know what? You need to go to jail for being stupid, okay? Because you are a stupid guy, okay? Plain out stupid. This is Gunnison Undercover. Let me know what you think about the animal lover here. He's an animal lover in every sense, isn't he? Look at him. There's his picture. I'll put the, the link in the description. It's already on my uh, Facebook channel, Gunnison Undercover, if you want to go read it. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Every day we're getting one or two more subscribers and we're growing. So, you know, keep subscribing. It appears that Gunnison Undercover is not back up on the air. And I don't have much hope that it's going to go back on the air, you know, really come the, the end of February. If it's not back on the end of February, then it's pretty... Uh, we're pretty sure it won't be back on. So, in the meanwhile, we're going to build up <clears throat> New Jersey Exposed and uh, make it a great uh, make it a great YouTube channel. Entertainment. We'll have some entertainment value to it, some news value to it, some audits to it. We're going to do the audits. I know I keep saying, but they're in the making. It's going to happen. I promise you that. In the meanwhile, we report these uh, dopey stories, these Blue Zero Hero stories, and, and anything other else that's uh, of interest to, uh, I find, Ent of entertainment value. So next time, folks, Scottish on the cover. Keep your eyes on the cops. And when they tell you what you need to do, you need to tell them what they need to do because they work for us. We do not work for them.